everyone. Uh, I'm Casey, Matt's wife, and Patrick's friend, I think. Most uh, of the time. <laughs> Here at the Wilder Hanson Adventures. And uh, the last time we talked, I was really um, in awe about buying this amazing machine that we have behind you. And I was a little tongue tied. But today they have been graceful enough to give me a second shot at this and to tell you exactly what I love about this amazing machine. Not to mention we got 1,500 views in the first seven days. <laughs> it was it was quicker than that. <laughs> we, it was like 1,100 in two days. And the one we did before that was like... 20? Like, was seven days old. And, <laughs> no, because before that was... Uh, I don't remember what it yeah, was. Yeah, it don't matter. But, but yeah. it was like 200 and some odd views. Well, our oldest one, or not other than our introduction, was the exhaust on my truck that was doing the best. And I was like, 894 views. God, that's awesome. And it's at three months old. And then Uriah is the one who turned me on about the 392 video. He's like, yeah, Dad, you know you're up to 11, 1200, <laughs> whatever it is. I'm like, no, we're not. <laughs> oh, my God. And, you know, and then I had to call and wake you up in the middle of the night, not realizing what time it was. So, anywho, nothing but shenanigans around here, and apparently a bunch of people passing in the road. It's kind of funny. Anywho, all right, so tell us about it. Let's, let's hear all about it. All right, so first off, we're standing here in front of the Jeep, and as you can tell, she has half doors. These are super light, so light, in fact, that I can take them off and put them on. Uh, they also come with the uppers. They are plastic which I don't know if I really care They're for. They're a fabric. They're a fabric with plastic windows. Whatever. We can get one and show them here in a minute. But I don't know if I really like the look, but I do absolutely love the half doors. These half doors during the summer, the front will come off completely, but we do have the back for the dogs in the back because I have one escape artist that's already jumped out of the Jeep so far. Also, this back panel here is also a window. If you remember from the walk around video that Patrick did wonderfully, um, this window actually comes out, which is super awesome. We'll show you how to do it when we get around to the other side. All right, so 392. There's a, there's a, a running joke about Jeeps that if they were meant to go fast, they wouldn't be shaped like a brick. Also, um, my husband has pointed out more than once that a cow is more aerodynamic than a Jeep. But Jeep has remedied that with this beautiful machine. It is the 392 uh, Hemi. So that being said, they have taken 10 pounds of crap. See if she can do it. <laughs> find it. Probably not. Stick your hand in there and push it to the right. Righty, patty, lefty, loosey. Slide over. <laughs> not, not you slide over. Right here. On the latch. Oh, push yeah. It. Okay. So, anyway, as you can tell, where's the yellow thing? Oh, it's a top. All right. So, they have taken a bunch and stuffed it underneath this hood. Now, if we have our Jeepers out there, you know that this comes as a four banger and it also comes in a six cylinder. My last Jeep was a six cylinder because I figured, hey, I've got more cylinders, I can go faster. Well, this one is a V8. This one also comes in the uh, Dodge Challenger uh, uh, SRT. And this thing will go, it's got 470 horsepower, 470 uh, pounds of torque, and will go from zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds. So, and it will do a quarter mile in 13 seconds. It's pretty impressive for a brick. Yep. And that is one of the number one reasons why I bought this. Another thing that we've been looking at and getting is the cold air intake. I heard that it is great for this motor. So this actually has what they call the hydro glide. So it has the hood scoop on the front of it and it all flows in here. So even if you do get some rain whatnot, it actually pushes it out the back and down this little uh, lip over here. So no water actually gets into the intake. Um, this also helps to cool the back part of there. Air can flow through there when it doesn't pull out here and help cool the back of the engine and the transmission. Mm -hmm. 
Another cool feature of this Jeep, it just has the front facing trail cam. For those of you who don't have x-ray vision and cannot see right in front of your face, that is always great with trails. Hey, it's also great in a parking lot, let me tell you. Come on, who, honestly, you can never see over the end of the hood or see where your bumper is. That camera is perfect for that. Yep. So next in line, and this is what I did not have in my other Wrangler, is proximity door locks and unlocks. I was so jealous of Matt because his truck has it and I wanted it, but here we go. I actually have one. <laughs> so again, door locks. So Patrick was actually telling me this earlier and I can't do it now. So this okay. little call button here. Again. Yeah, show me falling on my butt. Oh, and I just twisted. All right, so this little button here not only can control your stereo, it can make phone calls, but Patrick said that it can also control your climate control. Yeah. Who'd have thunk? All you gotta do. Set climate to 70. Setting temperature to 70 degrees. Okay, that's flipping awesome. So now that this stupid thing is beeping, I gotta get it to quit beeping. So this thing growls and it makes me smile each and every time I start her. So <laughs> uh, she purrs, it's amazing. So the next thing that I absolutely love about this is we have heated seats, heated steering wheel. That was an absolute must for me because I am always cold. I needed it, had to have it, wasn't going without it. But this little nifty thing here, it is a one touch auto retract roof. So on those days that are super pretty and you're stopped at a stoplight and you really want to have your sunroof, there you go. It goes all the way back by itself and it will retract all the way front by itself. This can be done at 30 miles an hour at a very low wind. No more than. No more than 30 miles an hour wind have not tested it any more than like 10 miles an hour and I don't plan on doing it. I don't want to ruin it. So going to the back. Yep. So these back glasses are super easy to take out. Something so easy that I can take it out. So you've got a hook here, you've got a hook there, right over there, and it comes right out. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And it just opens the whole Jeep up to, oh, yeah. you know, everything. It's mm -hmm. just wonderful. And All right, and then putting it back is just as easy as? Line up your pegs for the holes. Make sure it's seated. <laughs> click, click, just like your freedom panels. Mm -hmm. If you have them and not the sun rider. So we have dogs that ride with us more than humans ride with us. Mm -hmm. So we leave the back down and the dogs actually have their own beds that sit there. As a matter of fact, you can actually even see with the escape escape artist's harness there. There you have it. This is why I bought the 392. It is fast and it is all wheel four drive. All oh. wheel four <laughs> wheel drive. Blech. But didn't think I'd like that at first, but we took it on a uh, little bit of a trail ride and where others had to put it in for high, I just rolled right over it. It's fantastic. So with that, something that I have noticed that I find very interesting, most of you Jeepers will know this too. You see something a little different? There's actually CV joints in the front, which is part of the all wheel drive system. So they don't actually have the U joints. They have the CV joints in the front now. They don't have the axle disconnect, just like the JLs and JTs currently. There's no axle disconnect, so it's spinning all the time. And that's, again, able to use the all-wheel drive system. Now, you can, going on a trail, this one does have the um, park assists to it. It does have the fancy... Hill assist or park assist? 
or hill assist. Yeah, there's think. no park assist on it. Yeah, no, well, it's it the parking. The, it's the. It has the parking sensors. Though. Yes. Parking sensors. That's what I meant. That's park park assist. That's park assist for somebody <laughs> like me. Come on. So you can disable all that. It's just a touch of button. A touch of a button for this one. So this is one thing that I got to teach Patrick. <laughs> I don't so. Think much. <laughs> Everybody, anything, I believe it's 2019 and newer, have this Off-Road Plus button. So this Off-Road Plus, from all the reading that I have done, it basically disables all your sensors and all your extras if you're out on a trail. So your... Uh, traction control. Yeah, your traction control. Your hill assist. Patrick had a really hard time because his is a standard, so he's sitting here trying to do the standard and it's trying to correct them with the, the hill assist and all that other stuff. You hit that button and it's just like an old car. Okay, so yeah. We went to Hot Springs Off-Road Park and we were doing one of the badges of honor. I put it in four high and go to take off to go up a hill and the thing would not move. It would die, it would spit, it would sputter put it in four low, it would take off, no problem. And what it was, was that hill assist was keeping me from taking off. I don't know what it does in an automatic because, well, I messed up and didn't get one of them <laughs> in hindsight. But it, it's a huge, huge help. Yeah, yeah, that Off-Road Plus is actually, it, it's, it's honestly quite useful. No, hang on. No, go ahead. Y'all talked about all the things. Okay. What but did you we didn't talk about all the things. Okay. What did we miss? What did I miss? How about the fact that it comes with the Extreme Recon package? Oh, yes. This particular. So, I, I almost hadn't got to all that. That was going to be kind of our, we'll do it now. So, the story behind the Jeep, and, and I think we kind of mentioned it in the first one, kind of, but not really. So, this is, an odd, this is an odd Jeep. So one guy went into the dealership to order it and clicked literally every button. If it was an option, that button was hit, including the half doors. And this was ordered May of 22. Mm -hmm. Yeah, May of 22. Well, in July, they called them and said, hey, it's put on delayed status, which means there's something that's not available. They found out it was the half doors. Guy didn't want to wait. He come back in. He orders another one. Everything identical except for the half doors. And it comes in like a month later. And he buys that one. Well, come January. Yeah, it was January of 23. This one showed up at the lot. <laughs> Our really good friend Tandy at the lot actually texted us and said, Hey, look what we got. We kind of blew it off. But then when me and Patrick went up there, we saw it. And the rest is history. We know about it. So it literally has every button click including the extreme recon package which comes with 35 inch all-terrain tires and a two and a half inch mopar lift and and the it actually yes the the fender guards i was and, talking about the beadlock oh wheels they come with the beauty rings you can get the aftermarket locks every 392 comes with those i'm just saying yes so that is one thing um these are actual beadlock capable rims. You pull this beauty ring off and there's another one. They're $188 each, but you can put them on there and actually make them true beadlock rims. It's still cheaper than buying new rims. It is. That it is. The other thing. What else am I missing? To take away Casey's smile when she starts it, there is a button where if you're in a neighborhood that is not uh, exhaust friendly, <laughs> <laughs> that you can hit and it will tone it down yeah so i actually looked that up so what it is, is that's it's the creep mode it's the performance exhaust system <laughs> so there's actually valves that close off the muffler so there's actually four exhaust pipes per se um yeah. the two outer ones are basically straight pipes so it goes straight through i guess would it be the catalytic converters mm -hmm. and then straight out it just dumps straight out and there's valves that close off the muffler when you turn off the performance exhaust system, those valves open up, and now it allows to basically flow through all four of them, but more goes through the muffler to quieten everything down. But if you get on it and the back pressure increases, it actually pushes those valves back open, and it flows mainly through the outer ones. So in other words, for you guys who've been around cars for a minute, it's like having dump outs. 
Yeah. And, you know, cutouts, whatever you want to call them. Whether you were back in, like I was when I got my first set and it was a cable that operated them, or <laughs> later on you got the electric or air versions. It's the same thing except for it's a factory option. Yes. On the 392 only. Yes. Unfortunately. It's pretty nice too. It's, it is. Because, like I said, if you're in a neighborhood where it's elderly people or something like that, and you're trying to be courteous and not, you know, stir the Kool-Aid too much, <laughs> you you hit it once you get out of the neighborhood. Get all over it. You, you hit it again and you turn it on. Yeah. When, when you come back, I wish Uriah's Jeep had that. Yeah. Sometimes. Although, we know as soon as he turns at the stoplight that he's coming home. That's funny. Um... There is actually one other feature that I noticed the other day when I was driving. Um, yeah, I let him drive. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, and it's a rather interesting feature. So everybody talks about where they don't like the auto start stop for all the rest of the Jeeps. This doesn't have the auto start stop. What it does have is a four cylinder mode. Yeah. So while you're driving down the highway, if it's not actually using all the power that it needs, it'll actually run off four cylinders. And there's actually a little deal that says four cylinder if you're looking at the uh, mile per gallon page, whatever. And it says four cylinder. Your fuel economy. Yeah, your fuel economy page. So, and, and, and I think that's kind of interesting. I think that's kind of nice. It doesn't interfere with anything. It doesn't stop anything. And as soon as you start to push on the gas, you can hear all of it. Everything starts firing. So... It's an interesting feature to help save gas, but I know that's all EPA stuff. Well, let me ask this. Since you guys have it, and I definitely don't, have you used the adaptive cruise control that I this do. also has? Yes. I actually use it a lot, and I absolutely love it because I can be just sitting there driving, and then, you know, car is slower, and as soon as you turn on that blinker to move over, she speeds up and gets past that car. Yeah. So yeah, the adaptive, really? the adaptive cruise control actually works really well. And unlike regular cruise control, where if you, uh, I don't know what I'm looking for, Never mind. Other times, like if you just let off the gas and so on and whatnot, it slows down, this will actually engage the brake. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what I was looking for. If you slow it down, like if you have slowed down a lot, it just coasts until it gets to it. No, this will actually engage the brake. Yeah. If you set the cruise control lower, it will engage the brake until it gets to that speed. Yeah. So, um, another, um, with that, uh, because it's got the little eye in the top part of it by the mirror, another thing it actually has is the auto adaptive high beam headlights. So you turn the high beams on, if it senses tail lights or uh, headlights. headlights, it automatically dims the lights. Really? I didn't know. See, yes, that's something yeah. else I didn't know yes. about. Yes. But that's actually, so every jeep that has adaptive cruise control and has that little eye has right. that well i was asking because my uh, my truck is bare bone i wasn't paying for none of that extra crap <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want it i don't use it i don't need it mm -hmm. you know i i want a jeep because i'm gonna go play in the woods with it yep <laughs> and on the trail with it and i don't know it's hard to have that adaptive cruise control in a manual anyway I don't even know if it's possible. I'm sure, probably in some way. But I know that's why I was. Standards that have cruise control. You, as long as it's above thirty, it's yeah, it's there. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I got cruise. I just don't have it. The adaptive. I can't remember. I know I looked at all the options. Yeah. And once you start clicking manual transmission, things just kind of disappear. A lot of things disappear. Like they disappear. don't exist. Which, <laughs> hey, I was after forward-facing camera. And the big uh, monitor and the yep. uh, speaker. Yep. Did this come with the speaker? Oh, no, they don't. Oh, that's, a only. that's a gladiator only. That's a gladiator only. It's a gladiator only. So, something else that this one has that theirs does not is I have the 11 speaker Alpine system in this, in this thing. Not true. I have it. You have it. I have the 11 well, speaker Alpine. Whatever. It sounds better in my case than it does. That. <laughs> so, again, something else I wasn't willing to pay for. So, um, um, it actually, no, it actually comes with the 8.4s. Oh. The 8.4s come standard. Well, the Wrangler, or the Gladiators, actually, and I'm sorry, it's a nine speaker. It's a nine speaker yeah. She's got 11. Alpine. I've she's got, got 11. 11. Yeah, she's got two extra tweeters that are in that rear sound bar. So, in my other Jeep, I was asking him, hey, how much was it going to cost to put a better sound system in it? 
Well, we know I, the total now. Uh, yep. <laughs> yep, we did. It cost us a whole new Jeep. <laughs> whole new Jeep. Who knew? Yeah, especially after we did the steering and the sector shaft and all that, which is a video coming. I'm just slow to do it now because we don't have Bell no more. And literally, we did it, and three days later, she sold it. Yeah, we did it on Tuesday, and on Friday, she got this. <laughs> yes. Actually, it was two days because I bought this on a Thursday. Oh, so okay, that's even worse. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, all right. All in fun. So we've talked about all the little cool things that we've seen that we found. I'm sure there's things that we don't even know about yet. We're still learning it. Um, she has been on a trail. That video will actually probably be out before this one. So you'll see the trail with this on it. Yeah, you've seen the trail. Now here's all the special stuff that we found on it. Um, man, I don't know what else to say. Is there any, anything else you got for it? Thanks, guys, for letting me um, actually catch my tongue and oh, yeah. <laughs> tell what I love about this Jeep. I mean, evidently, they like your Jeep way better than anything we've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. But, um, no, as far as this goes, I'm good. I mean, I really wish I had, you know, I've got one option, doors and top on or off. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's part of the Wrangler. That's, we don't it's have cool. that option. It's cool. It really is. They should have done this a long time ago on all of them. So this actually, this option actually started coming out in 2019 with the right. JLs. Yeah. But it, it was few and far between mm -hmm. and it was just it was a staggering amount how much this was. That Sunrider top. Now it's not exactly cheap still, but it's actually better than what it was in 19. Yeah. Yeah. So, but anywho, well if that's everything, again, Tandy and John at Lewis Dodge Ram Chrysler Jeep all the names there's a ford there's a ford dealership next to them too all by lewis um thank you guys yes thank you, you guys are awesome we love you um this is actually the third vehicle we've bought from them and the fifth that we've had influence on so yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah so love those guys there um shout out to y'all thank you guys if y'all don't have anything else i think we're yeah i think we're good and we'll see you next Friday. We'll see you next Friday. <laughs> Bye, Bye, guys. Everyone. Bye, guys.